Yo, what up, boys and girls? It is Conky bringing you a Black Ops 2 color correction video. Just basically a tutorial. Ever since I've done my Dirt 3 video, so many people have been asking me, you know, how do I do it for first person shooters? It's kind of the same, but there's, you know, some little bits in between that are a little bit different to like the you know, racing videos. Everything, it works on the basic principle of color curves, which. Now a lot of people like to colour correct and like to do various colour correction methods but personally I like using colour curves, film light and uh, a bit of contrast because it's easy. So I've just changed the best quality full because this is exactly the quality it will render out to. Not many PCs can actually play it on best, you know, best full if you're one of them unlucky people. You know, you can play it on whatever quality you want. It'd be exactly the same as my PC if you render it out. But I've just selected this clip. It'd be a, a decent decent selection to colour correct. So it's just literally just a test showing you what you can do. Just a tutorial showing you on how to colour correct and you know, bits and bobs. But this looks like a quite, quite a decent clip. Now, what you want to do is these little tabs down here. Go to Video FX, which is going to be basically all the FX you're ever going to need. You are going to want to make this bigger, so that way I, you, well, you can see what I'm going to be doing. But um, go down to color curves, which is right here, right there. But obviously, there's a few on, you know, there's cookie cutters and stuff like that. But I'm going to be picking default. There's tons of more presets you can use from them, like warm colors, cool colors, stuff like that. But you know, pick normal default. And then, as you see, if I mess around with the with the line there, bend it in different directions, you kind of get, you know, increased contrast, decreased contrast, you get various different things. But there's another thing as well. I can either put it onto the layer, which you drag and drop, and put it on the layer, which I just did there, or just put it on the video, which is if you click that little button there, which I'm hovering over. You know, you can easily pop up the effects, which you see here. And I am basically going to go for an S shape that has been set on by a really fat person. So, kind of an S shape. So, if you click it on and off, you kind of see the effects already going on there. Now, this is all you really need to do to color correct. But there are various other methods you can use on top of this. You don't just have to use one effect. As you see here, the quality is absolutely amazing using thing, that. Just one yeah. thing. Just oh, one thing. I know a lot of people aren't going to know how to use other things. But I'm just going to show you a few more things. I mean, this is color curves. And you already see it's done so much. You know, so much effects on the video. It's created more light. It's created more contrast. It's more vibrant. It's just basically a really nice thing to look at rather than that dull raw footage that you get normally now what I am going to be doing is look down the side for film light which is right here so uh, I'm going to be looking for film light film light fill light sorry fill light my mind is everywhere right now no sleep but um, what you're going to want to do is is basically turn it up to kind of where I want you want a kind of a low softness because more softness basically doesn't get you the right the right feel you want for the video like the right sharpness as you can see here it's done joyness to the video absolute joyness what it does is is I always every video Hugh doesn't do anything by the way but every video I ever do I put film light on it only literally only you see the difference right here it makes it more vibrant makes it lighter feel light not film light I don't know why I say film light but when you put fill light on it, what you want to do is you want to add contrast. Now, I never fill light any of my videos if I don't want to add contrast. Look, right here you see exactly what it does. The second you add contrast to a little bit of fill light, it just creates amazingness right now. Absolutely amazingness. So what I am going to be doing is also... Look, you see the raw footage. The raw footage is dull, dark dingy it looks like Satan's work you add you know brightness contrast then add film light film light fill light and then add a uh, little bit of color curves 
It absolutely looks amazing. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to add like the raw quality because this is just quality from a uh, Vegas playing in best. Now this is the normal quality, unedited, just the raw straight from the Xbox. Really doesn't look too. In fact, it looks good. It's good quality, but it's really dull. It looks like it's filmed in hell. It was good on thingy, wasn't it? Uh, now this is some amazing this is the render settings I that I used with the fill light with the color curves and with the little bit of um, little bit of contrast in between just to pick out all that join us uh, now this is them back to front obviously you can tell the difference on the left it's the boring raw quality and on the right, it is color curves and all the corrections. Anyway, I've been Quonky. I really hope you love the tutorial. Subscribe if you want to. Take it easy. Peace.